Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, it's early morning on day two. Um, I'm actually listening to a wild turkey walk up behind my camp and gobble, probably calling his hens, which is pretty cool. But uh, it got cold last night, um, at least freezing, maybe below, and it's right around freezing this morning as the sun's coming up over the horizon and i've got me a warming fire going I'm gonna have some breakfast here and uh just go get warm by the fire thought you guys would join me water jugs working out great really liking this thing <coughs> got me some uh mountain house granola with milk and blueberries Good stuff, actually. I like this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more powdered milk to this. I've got my pack sitting here. It's my camping mat pack that has extra uh, food and pot and pan and different things in it. Buy this on Amazon. Low-fat milkman milk in the little pouches. Use it for all kinds of stuff out here. Just a titanium spoon, long handle, off Amazon. No particular brand. So I'll add a couple extra spoonfuls of milk to this. Oh yeah, I can get like a bunch of that cereal flavored milk like you had when you were a kid and you'd eat your kid's cereal and drink the milk and do the same thing with that. Oh man, need to hurry up and get down by that fire. So I'm just going to pour, let's see, what does it say? Half a cup of water. I'm just going to do a little extra so I got that milk in there to drink. Oh, that's good. That'll work. And I got uh, my little mini seat, seat pad. I'm just, I'm gonna, I want to get close to the fire and get warm this morning, so I'm just gonna sit down right on this, right next to the fire, and have some breakfast. So, uh, pause you guys, and we'll go down there. Fire feels amazing. Oh, I threw in some uh, some wood that I had left over from last night. I kept my fire burning most of the night. Well, I think I let it burn down sometime when the sky started to gray a little bit. But uh, I had leftover wood. And just just feels good this morning. I got my back to it and just getting all warm. By the way, this is a Carhartt Rain Defender shirt. Uh, nice and warm to put this on over everything in the morning. It's, it's oversized, so it fits over everything. And uh, if it were to rain or sprinkle, it helps keep me dry. But uh, I wanted that fire burning for the night for basically security reasons. And just because there had been a bear out here tearing stuff out and I didn't want him wandering through the camp and have to go chase him around the camp with my knife in the middle of the night. <laughs> One of us might have got hurt, probably the bear, but you know how it goes. <laughs> so yeah, I kept that fire going and uh, it was real easy to get it going again this morning and get some heat out. So granola, blueberries, extra milk. Mm. Just like being a kid again. 
just like being a kid. Have a whole bunch of blueberry flavored milk in here to drink. Birds are coming out, starting to sing. I don't know if you can hear it, there's a hawk. Hawk over here in the tree and it's calling. I don't know if it's calling a mate or what, but birds are singing. Squirrels will be running up and down the trees shortly. And uh, life's good on uh, morning number two of my 72 hour bug out. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Priority for today, firewood. Uh, once it warms up a little bit, I got, oh, I got me a friend over here on the stump. A uh, little, little songbird is sitting on a stump over here singing a morning song to me. Nice. But um, priority this morning is going to be getting firewood or once I get warmed up and eat. Get my firewood replenished so I have plenty for tonight. And uh, still got tons of water, so I may not journey over to the creek over here to get any today. I don't know. We'll just take it uh, one step at a time, guys. But uh, again, this is day number two of my, um, you know, 72-hour bug out scenario. And, of course, I'll have my radio. I'll check later and see if it's what's going on back in town, if I can go home yet, if I still need to be evacuated for another day or two. But uh, so far everything is, is working wonderfully. The tent, other than being cold inside, but I had my nice warm bag on and I actually slept in my swagman roll, which oh, I'll share that with you guys. I slept in my swagman roll inside the sleeping bag and I'm not gonna do that again. In the middle of the night, I heard something and I don't know if it was a, I don't think it was an animal. I think just a branch came down out of a tree by the tent and I jumped up and I was so tangled up in the swagman roll inside my sleeping bag that it was, took me forever to get untangled. Had it been an emergency situation, I, <laughs> I don't know. It, it would have uh, not been good. So normally I take a jungle blanket, snug pack jungle blanket, put that in my sleeping bag. And just kind of pull it around me and go to sleep and if I need to get up in a hurry it's just and it's off and I'm out so I'm going back to that I uh, for me personally and maybe it's partially because I'm bigger and the swagman rolls tighter on me I was pretty much trapped in that thing last night all tangled up and and fighting with it for like a full minute to get untangled and get it off and over my head and get out the tent door and see what was going on so that's not a good situation for me other than that, um, tent was really nice, sleeping bag's nice, air mattress still has plenty of uh, air in it, and all is good. All is good out here. So thanks, guys. Uh, here later this morning or something, I'll come back, and we'll go out and get some uh, firewood, and I'll talk to you about the different saws that I have in my different kits and that I have out here with me. So again... Uh, morning of day two of my 72 hour bug out. I'm gonna finish my awesome breakfast. Guys, have a great one. Stay tuned.